Hey you guys, it's Lyric from Body by Lyric. If you're looking to make some affordable labels by yourself at home, then stay tuned and check out this video. Everything that you need will be listed in the description box. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is open up your web browser and you're going to type in canva.com. That's C-A-N-V-A.com. This is where you can do designs of anything. Um, what I normally do is I'll create my designs for my labels on here. Um, if you guys need a template, it is for sale on my website. Um, just go check us out. But again, I'm just trying to tell you guys like some of the things you could do you can make your instagram post off of here you can make business cards you can even try to make your logo logo if you are trying to like start up your own business but this is where i uh, make my labels at so um again i'm just showing you guys some of the things that canva offers uh, personal social media business marketing and education so these are some of the slides that you can basically click on to get a little bit more inspiration from so what i'm going to do is what you need to do is actually create an account with them and the account is free um and it's no charge now if you want the the higher account then i think it's like 199 if i'm not mistaken but what we're going to do is we're going to take our design if we're going to choose one but i already have mine's already uploaded i'm not understanding why this thing keeps popping up so i'm going to get rid of it it was irritating me okay so now you want to start with a blank canvas obviously because you want to make your own label so um if you're having trouble making a label again i do have a template that you guys can use so these are just some of the images that i use just like to help me create my labels um i did change my label about three to four different times so that's why you see a lot of pictures so i want to start off with my top label and put it at the top and we're just going to adjust it as is needed sorry if you guys hear my fan um it's pretty hot in here <laughs> so um i'm just going to upload that image and adjust it to how i want it um and then we're going to go from there so i'm not going to show you everything um just because i feel like it's not needed but it does have different fonts and different cute little things that you can add in so you can add like body by lyric underneath it if that's something or whatever your company's name is right underneath it if that's something that you want to do okay so when you have your erase save work like i do i just go to my designs and these are some labels that i was helping a friend of mine out with um because she just needed a template and just to get shown how to make labels so mines are already finished um i already designed them myself um so i'm just scrolling down to seeing what label that i want to make today so i'm going to be using this pure cane label um and so here's what the label looks like okay now this is what our label looks like um when it's completed it just has a little description and everything of everything um and now what we're going to do is we're just crossing our t's and dotting our i's to make sure everything is in line and plays correctly because again we want to save these labels so now what you want to do is save they do have options for other things but i always save as png because it's the original form and we're going to save this to our desktop this automatically saves to your desktop and this is what's going to come out looking like so after this is already saved to your desktop, I'm just making sure that everything is right. How am I liking? And now we're going to go to our next website. The next website that we're going to be using is our Avery website. Now this is not sponsored by Avery at all. This is just something that I use because it's a cheaper version of getting them done without having to spend a pretty bargain on them. And yeah. So the next website again that we're using is our Avery website. Now Avery is known for making their labels. You can make any type of label. You can actually get them printed yourself by an actual Avery company or you can do them yourself. That's one thing I do love about Avery. They do have those options. Um, and this is just what their page looks like. Um, by anyway, this, this video is not sponsored by Avery. I'm just showing you something that you can save a lot of money with buying your own labels. So um, they have different designs. They have like rectangle, uh, round, oval, square. Um, you can use these labels on like any anything so I get um, two sets of labels 
already have my project saved but you will have to make an account with this company um, again just like uh, Canva and go from there so I already have my designs already saved because I use this frequently and one thing I want to warn you is whatever you do do not make dark labels like this this will shoot you in the foot in the long run um, I will explain why later but um, yeah so these are my labels these are some of them um, and just from these you can see that I use Avery a lot for my labels um, so we're just gonna be working on this project today because I just want to show you the steps of how to make your labels so for the sake of this video I'm going to start from the beginning um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find what template I'm looking for that's going to actually fit my label so um, the size that I'm using for Avery is the 5262 and it's the white peel labels the easy peel address labels these are perfect for um, your vowel bottles um, these are perfect for your um, just just small like one ounce to two ounce bottles or um, dropper bottles if that makes sense um, I will show you the sizes in a few but yeah so we want to type that into our search quick search bar and then we're going to just select the image and we want to select the template and this is the design I want I don't want it um, vertical I want it horizontal and here is what I'm looking at so this is one of my labels this is how it's going to be set up when I print them out on my printer and again if you have an H I mean if you have a printer it can either be inkjet or laser and I think I have an inkjet printer which is like a standard printer so now I want to take my file that we created on Canva that we saved to my desktop and we're going to insert it here now it is and it can get tricky with labels because you do have to adjust I'm gonna zoom in for you guys you do have to adjust the actual fitting to the actual label um and it just takes time and effort um honestly it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it um but yeah so right now i'm just trying to adjust everything to make sure that it, that it fits and i think this was actually um the wrong size and that's the thing about Avery too you can find a different size for your label so if you notice um, I'm trying to adjust my label to get rid of that white lining if that makes sense I'm trying to fit it perfectly but it's still a gap of space before the dotted lines um, so I knew that this might not be the right size so what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna adjust and try to see if this can fit without try to reduce as much white space but it kept giving me that gap that I didn't want so what I did was I had to re-look really at my Avery package and I looked on the inside sometimes um, it's different fit so for example the easy peel address labels they do come in two different sizes well they can match up match and match so um, I just typed in the neck size which was li labeled on the actual paper the Avery paper that fit it perfectly so I believe the labels number was 5162 yes so this is basically the same label size it's still gonna put out it's just a little bit longer you guys will see what I mean in a second so these ones are a little bit longer so I'm going to zoom in for you guys so you can see and now you will see the difference so remember how it was that white space that I just could not stand this one's not gonna have it so I'm just gonna take my recent one that I made insert it onto Avery and I'm just gonna drag it out So now this looks 10 times better than what I was looking for only because, and you will get this pop up. Um, this is just letting you know that it's out of margin. And when you take, when you get this message, that is okay. Um, 
that's okay that means you just have to pay attention to when you're printing it out so one thing I love about Avery is that it gives you a safety zone or a safety area for printing see now this is perfectly fine for me um, I could just cut off that white space and it looks all clean and cut so now that I'm done making that this is what my labels are going to look like I'm gonna zoom in for you guys just so you can check it out make sure no none of the words are cut off so this is what it's gonna look like after you're done making your labels so now that we're done that I'm gonna print it myself so you always want to click this option if you're printing from your actual printer and not um, will print it for you and you always want to label your projects and save your projects because you never know when you might need that label again and it's just easier for you to just take the PDF and send it also if you want to get your labels printed staples actually has a dollar per print per page so it's only a dollar a page to print out um, your label so if you do want to go to staples because you don't have a printer it is a option for you to do that and this is how they're gonna come out aren't they pretty I really love making labels by myself it's so cost-effective um, at the time I was paying someone over $150 just to make me like 100 labels and now I can make like 300 labels for like less than $100. So um, just take this for heed. Um, if there's something that works for you, then let me know. Um, But yeah, so these are the labels. This one's just a used one. Um, I make them for all of my all of my orders. But I'm gonna keep them in this little binder. Well, this little Avery packet. Um, this this makes all my labels. So the way I just showed you, going through Canva, making it on Canva, and then even after using Canva, you can um, transfer it on Avery. The only thing that you have to look for is the actual the numbers. Now with the numbers, they can be tricky because for example, for example, if you want a larger feed, so for example, when I was doing the, I believe I was doing the, the sugar scrub label, the label said um, 5262 because this is what's on here. Now, if your label is longer and you need more space, um, Avery does have the option to use a different size. So, for example, this one can fit up to mind you. This is the same package, I just took this out. Um, you can use what is this 5162? So, it's the same, it's the same size, it's just a little bit longer. So, you're able to fit your whole production on there. So, um, I do recommend Avery labels now to make them waterproof. This is what I did. So, we're going to take our Avery label that we just had. And I'm just going to use this bottle, for example. This one's this is a shape of bottle. Now that we're back, I'm going to be putting the label on our African Black and Shea Butter Soap cleanser. Just set this right here. If you see me looking right here, it's because the thing is right there. So I'm gonna find the label. African black. Hot right here. So these are the labels for the African black soap. I made these on every as well. If you need all the dimensions, just let me know um, down in the comment section. I can give you all the sizes. This size fits this size. And this size also fits this size. So if you want to make a smaller one or a larger one, you're going to take this. Oh, it's already washed. I just had to say that. 
and you're going to take cream label off. And you want to apply this to the middle. I normally do it on the opening of the bottom. But it's kind of difficult to show you why. But you want to place this right in the middle, like that. Make sure it's not lopsided. I'm going to turn this around in a second. So yeah, that's what I got it. So you want to take it. And you want to place it in the middle like that. Just right. There we go. Take that, place that right in the middle like that. And you always want to start from the middle and then work your way out. Break your way out. So it gives you a clean cut label. You see that? Hopefully it's just right. But yeah. So once you put that first initial label with like with your ingredients and everything on it, that's the first step. To make them waterproof, you want you want to grab they're called glossy. Yeah, they're glossy clear labels. So these are the ones that's gonna make it waterproof. So you want to take this label. See? See through. So you want to take this label. And you want to do the exact same thing. But you want to line them up perfectly. And the thing about this label is on this label, whatever you do, do not lift it up. Because you will mess up this part. This will come up because it's like a sticker. So you want to be careful. See ya.